Hi, welcome back to Making Waves. In this video, we'll be discussing the broad definition of what a wave is and how this relates to sound. We're going to be using an online tool from the University of Colorado Boulder that simulates waves in water. Let's go ahead and get started. Starting off, we're going to want to go to the website. You can either click the link in the video description, or you can go ahead and pause the video and copy the link directly from here. We're going to be using the water simulation, so go ahead and click the water box. Before we go ahead and get started with the simulator, let's talk about what a wave is. In a broad sense, a wave is a way of moving energy from one place to another through a medium of some kind. Waves can be found pretty much everywhere. They can be in water, like waves in the ocean, or they can move through air, like sound waves, or even through the ground, like earthquakes, or what also is called seismic waves. Now let's go ahead and look at a simulation of waves in water. On the simulation page, I'm going to go to the very bottom and hit side view, and then this button here, so only a single drop of water falls rather than a continuous stream. And then to start the simulation, I go ahead and hit this green button right here on the faucet. As you can see, a drop of water falls out of the faucet, hits the surface, and then creates a ripple that moves away from the faucet head. In this example, the energy from the falling droplet is transferred through the medium of the water below. Now, in order to see this a bit better, I'm going to turn on the continuous drip. I'm also going to add a little red ball over here on this side of the simulation to help demonstrate the concept. As you can see, the energy in the falling droplets is transformed into the rising and falling waves in the water. This energy is eventually transferred into the red ball, causing it to move up and down in the water. So now that we know a little bit more about what a wave actually is, let's go ahead and talk about some wave qualities. In the top right corner, we've got two sliders, one labeled frequency and one labeled amplitude. We're going to talk about frequency first. Before I hit play, I'm going to take the frequency slider down closer to the minimum value. Pay attention to how often the drops are coming out of the faucet. As I move this slider up, the drops will appear more often or more frequently. Every time a drop hits the surface of the water, it creates a trough that moves from left to right, and by increasing the frequency, we can increase the rate at which these troughs are created. I'm going to take the frequency back down now, and this time I want you to pay attention to how quickly the troughs move from left to right. Now increasing the frequency. The speed at which the troughs move away from the faucet head doesn't change. The only thing that changes is how frequently the troughs occur. Now let's go ahead and cover amplitude. I'm going to take the frequency down to about half and then the amplitude to about a quarter and hit play. Pay attention to the height of the wave's peaks. As I move the slider to the right, the height gets taller. By increasing amplitude, we increase the amount of energy being transferred from the droplet into the main body of water, and the intensity of the wave. Notice how changing the amplitude doesn't change how fast the peaks move away from the faucet head, or how often they occur. It only increases the peak's height or the intensity of the wave. Feel free to go ahead and use the simulator to get more familiar with some of the concepts that we just covered. If you want to try some more simulation tools, at the bottom of the page, 
there's a sound simulator and a light simulator as well. As always, thanks for watching, have fun, and I'll see you in the next video.